everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the Nexus Triumph 31T. This is such an exciting unit because they're making tons of changes on the inside and I'm really excited to show everybody. This, again, is the 2023 Triumph 31T with all the new changes. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Triumph and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I'm super excited to show you all the new 2023 features. The paint job on this looks fan-freaking-tastic. Before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey everybody. Hey Andrea. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day here in Tampa yes. and I'm excited. New changes to the Nexus. Yes, Andrea, they're doing it. They're doing big things and I think you're really gonna like the inside as well. Can't wait to see it. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Nexus Triumph 31T. The actual tip tip length is 31 feet 7 inches. This is the Nexus Triumph. It's an amazing class seat. And this unit right here has the optional full body paint, which looks fantastic. Right up front is a nice seamless fiberglass front. Not seamless, but it's the fiberglass front cap with the bra on it right there. This is powered on the E450, which means it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. Very nice. And then look at these tires, Dre, they're hand cooked. Dyna Pro. I love those. LT255-75 R16 with some shiny rims right there. Right here, we do have these black mirrors, non-powered, no side cameras either. Not in the mirrors or on the side of this motorhome. We do have a door. And as you can see here, just getting into the cab. Coming on down, Andrea, you can see that we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights and frameless windows. Now, because this is a Nexus, they do two things on the outside. One, they use Asdel, which is a green-based composite that's behind the fiberglass, so it will never delaminate on you. And they do a steel cage construction rather than aluminum, which is 72% stronger than aluminum, which means 72% safer than aluminum. Two things I absolutely love about the Nexus. Right over here is our propane tank. And then Miss Jennifer, bing! Please put all the specs right there so everybody can see who is watching on television. We do have an electrical outlet right there as well. Yes, ma'am. Paint job is really gorgeous. Beautiful paint job. Underneath there is some more storage. And then Andrea, beautiful paint job. Look at this. Beautiful water heater. You see what I'm saying it there? It looks fantastic. Absolutely. Coming on down, not too much storage going on, but you do got a little thing going on here. Is this a fridge? No. no. Oh, nice. There, wow, very good storage in the rear right there. I was not expecting that. Kind of reminds me of the European RVs, how they right. has it all the way through. Coming around the back, Andre, we do have a 7,500 pound hitch. This motorhome can't tow 7,500 pounds. Um, you're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you always have to... Know before you tow. Yes, ma'am. Nice bumper for the stinky slinky. Backup camera there, and there is a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Okay, up here on the roof, we have a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. One AC unit, 30 amp motorhome. Right there, it's got the WineGuard 360 digital antenna. And then we got one, two, three places for Max Air fans. Take your time. Hold on. Here we go. Two steps. Last step. Three. And if you haven't already, make sure everybody smashes that thumbs up button and hits that bell notification. One of the RV salesmen is taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Miss Andrea. See the other side of that storage. See the 30 amp power cord. Right here's all your water connections. Tank fill, city water, dry camping, potable water. Potable, potable. And a little cable hookup right there. Finishing up, Andrea. Here's where we're dumping our tank. Very nice. Okay. Fuel fill up here. Outdoor shower here, again exposed, but at least they did continue the paint job there. Right over here. 
is a generator. Flex power 4000. 4000i. Awesome. Flex power. Right over here, battery. Okay. And then here, a little bit more storage. You know why, Andrea? Because you can never have enough. No, no, no. Never, never, never. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Check out the inside. All right. I don't see the cargo carrying capacity. Okay. Let's see. Coming inside, you guys, we do have the slide in. But look, there is plenty of walkway here. Very spacious. Walking through. Split bathroom. Oh, where's the lights? There we go. And here is the bathroom. And the master bedroom. That's awesome that you can still use the bed Andrea, with the slide in. 1,361 pounds is the cargo carrying capacity. That's very little. Uh, I've seen better, I've seen worse. Um, but before we get the slide outs open, we gotta give a huge shout out to RVmattress.com. Everyone, it is RV show season. Over the next couple weeks, there's gonna be thousands of RVs that are sold nationwide. And there is one thing in common that every motorhome, travel trailer, fifth wheel, and every type of RV have in common. They all have crummy mattresses. Matt, why is that? It's because the RV manufacturers make thousands of RVs every year. And they know even if they put the right style of mattress, the average customer is just gonna take it out and put their own mattress in anyway. Here's the confusing part. You can't just go to your local furniture store and say that I have a Fleetwood Bounder and get the right RV mattress for your motorhome. So that's where our friends at RVmattress.com come in to save the day. They make mattresses that is specifically designed for RVs. So you go on the website, you find your different type of firmness that you like, and you find the exact size. Maybe it's 60 by 80 or 70 by 80. Not all king size beds are the exact same size. Once you select the right size and firmness, all you do is click it and they'll ship it to your home or campground. The best part about it, it's free shipping, you get a 120 night sleep child guarantee, and it's 100% made in the USA. Here's the three best mattresses that I recommend. First up is the Dream Foam Hybrid Mattress, which is engineered by one of the most advanced fabrics on the market, typically reserved for luxury beds to deliver cooling relief on contact. Next up, the Brooklyn Signature Hybrid. Can I get a hashtag best mattress ever? It's their number one selling mattress for one reason. The Brooklyn Signature combines individually encased ascension coils with patented hyper-responsive foam to increase comfort and deeper compression support. And then finally, my favorite, the Aurora Lux Advanced Cooling Technology in a Luxury Hybrid. That was the absolute best mattress that Andre and I had in our motorhome, and it was absolutely fantastic. Click the link down below and use our promo code MAT for 20% off, and again, Thank you so much to rvmattress.com backslash Matt, a Brooklyn bedding company. Let's continue the video. Andrea, you can see with the slide outs open, this is spacious, and I'm liking a lot of the interior changes that they're doing in here. Let's get started up front here. Right up here, Andrea, are you recording me? Right up here, we do have the very nice 7.3 liter V8. This is the steering wheel, this is so nice. Right here we have, look at this oversized screen. Again, no left side or right side, but we do have a camera screen for reverse. Cup holders right here. Then you got your power and your USB-C. And then Andrea, sit in that co-captain seat, tell me how you feel. Oh, it's comfortable. Look Ooh. at that, nothing behind you. Lots of leg space here. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Yeah, traditional E-Series. Very nice. Power windows and everything. And then we have a little light right here and then a bunk over the cab. Then Andre, do you know how much this bunk over the cab holds? Uh, I think it's 500 pounds. Yes, ma'am. I Or is it 440? No, I can't remember. I think it's 500 or 440. Um, not the heaviest bunk over the cab, but a really good size, nevertheless. Really good size. I like how it's boxed up and, you know, good size right here. Right over here, we do have the Sansui television. 
right here, and it is on a swivel bracket, good size TV. And then it Privacy is- Privacy curtain right there. Yes, adjacent to where the sofa is. And then really nice cabinetry right here. One, two, three. And then Andrea, look at the double struts there. Very nice. And then check this out. We do have nice gray tone valances. Check it out. And Andrea? I like them. I like the gray. Approved. Bing! Oh, Andrea loves the cabinets. Like, no, they're not cabinets. Balances. Balances. Because I like the gray. It it's looks, nice. Yeah, and look, I love this MCD shape. Right. Good job, Nexus. Now, the one thing I will say, and I'll, you know, I'm going to. In gonna, the past, I haven't liked them. Right, no, I like these. Yeah. And I'm going to comment on it a little bit later in the video. But, Andrea, we have a very nice sofa right here. Jack knife's flat to make a bed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did I. It jackknifes flat to make a bed really nice. Very comfortable sofa. Good size, absolutely. Now, you are watching the TV that way. And so, again, we will talk about that a little bit later. Over here, we do have storage right here. Very nice. And then let's check out this dinette. We have, again, more storage above the dinette. Check her out. Very nice. We do have this light. Is this like Art Deco? Maybe. Yes, very nice. And I actually then, am not really a big fan of the light. I like the light. Oh. We'll leave the light on for you. Okay. The light's right here. We do have this table. It drops down to make a bed. Nice window and everything. And um, this just some of the features about Nexus that, you know, make the exclusive features. You know what I'm saying? This drops down to make a bed. And um, no storage under the dinette. Correct. Okay. Which it just kind of is what it is. It is. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. You ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here, wow, is $158,010. MSRP. Andrea, we sell a lot of Nexuses, which means we're able to discount it almost $50,000 which is 31% off MSRP to a sale price of 108995 Wow. Andrea, a motorhome like this with full body paint, that is absolutely fantastic. It is. But Andrea, guess what? I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. So if you're interested in this unit, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. Link down in the description below. Link on our website, mattsrvreviews.com, or call 844-969-4033. However you got to get in contact with us, please do. Somebody from my team is going to reach out to you, and we are going to get you guys the absolute best price in America. Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. Okay, here we go, guys. We have a nice cabinet above here with the shelf. Very nice. Oh, I see a, a little lily pad of power. Yes, ma'am. Nice little lily pad. We've Tons of counter space there. LED lights. Oh, yeah. LED lights underneath. We've got um, three drawers. Very nice. Okay. Under here, we have a cabinet with the shelf. Mm -hmm. Double sink. Lots of counter space. Yes, ma'am. We've got adjustable shelves up there. Very nice. I think I forgot this extension. Okay. And then under here, we have another uh, cabinet with a shelf. More storage. Graystone convection micro. No, sorry. Graystone microwave. Yes, ma'am. All right. Good correction. Three. And then look at the gray stoned black splash. Because it's black. a. <laughs> Backsplash. Yes. But, Backsplash. But, but it looks like gray stones. It does. Dometic three burner propane cooktop. Very nice. And then look, more storage. No oven. Interesting. Three burner, um, three burner, sorry guys. We've three burner refrigerator. Compressor, I meant. GE compressor refrigerator. Very nice. Ooh, that's nice and cold. Yeah, the, no three burners in there, huh? Runs off your uh shore power and your battery, I think, right? Because compressor. Yeah, it's electric. Very and nice. look at this. Look at all the, the adjustable shelves here mm. in this pantry. I love that. Good size. All right, Andre, watch your step right here. Yes, I do see that. Okay. Step up into the split bathroom. Good shower, Matt, good height. Andre, this is the 24 by 36 shower, but this little curvature here is just giving you a little bit more head space. You know what I'm saying? Really nice, I like it. This is the minimum size of a shower that I want, and I think it's very, very nice. Okay. It's super duper. All right, then we have this privacy curtain going into the master 
uh, bedroom. Yep. And then this is another door that has a magnet up there so you can have some privacy. Yes. Right over here, we have a nice little medicine cabinet with mirror, porcelain toilet. On a pedestal. Mm. Porcelain. Oh wait, your feet are swinging. Andrea, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. Here's what I will say. Compared to yesterday, I'd rather have this toilet than that Entrada toilet. Um, because yeah, my feet are dangling, but I can get a um, a squatty potty, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just me because I'm too short. Right here we have the sink with storage there and liquefied our brand of RV toilet treatment created by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Guys, go to primepoopinposition.com to pick up a bottle on Amazon. Thank you so much. And am did I missing something? I did, but would you like me to open it oh, again? Sure. Thank you. I You're welcome. Remember. No problem. Andrea, not a prime poop position, but again, a, a, a nice bathroom. You know? And then finishing up in here. Look at this. North we, South bed. I yes. like that. Now, there is a slide out in here. Okay. Um, and it is this slide out. Very nice wardrobe space. Yes. Now, I, I do have a step up right here. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? Your TV mounts here. And then no storage right here, but you have it on that side. But there is a drawer here. Okay. Three drawers above. Three cabinets. Yep. Nice oh lights my gosh. underneath. Andrea, who's I have more a step confused? Up here. You or me, I call these drawers. It's the heat. Yes. And then we have a wardrobe here. Two more drawers. Good size, got a nightstand here. And Matt, I also have a step up over here. Oh, okay. So, wow. Oh, that's probably for that storage on yes. the outside. Nice headboard and everything. And Andrea, overall, a really good size bedroom. You know what I'm saying? This is a queen size bed, right? It is. Okay, yeah, it yeah. is a good size. Uh, I don't know if anybody real tall would be able to get up in here. Oh, th they'll be able to get up. It's just, right. they'll have and to wash their head. Up. Yeah. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like, Andrea. What do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we dislike about it first. Okay, I actually have one on the outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me, I don't like this water connection hookup right here. It's very tacky, I think. I, I don't think it's gonna work well. And I'd much rather have something a little bit more cleaner, organized, and enclosed. That is dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Andrea, number two? Matt, this for me, <laughs> always, always gonna be the step. I am so clumsy. I even forgot when I came in here and I almost tripped walking backwards. So Andrea, just make sure you guys are aware. You can trip while you're staring at that. Yes. That's how clumsy you yes, are. Yes, definitely. That's dislike <laughs> number two. And then Andrea, dislike number three for me. You ready for this? I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say the color of the cabinetry. Really? Yes. Okay. Do you know why? Because you've seen the white already in the gray. Well, no. But now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? I love the exterior full body paint color. And I actually love these valances. And let me tell you something. I think if they did gray cabinetry with these valances, it would look fan freaking tastic. That is like number one. Andrea, like number two? Like number two, I love this sofa. Talk I'll to say me. it again, I'll say it all the time. This is the absolute perfect sofa for in here and it's very comfortable. It sure is. Yes. That is number two and then Miss Andrea. Number three, I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I said it last video, but I'm saying it again. How much usable space is in here when the slide out's in? Guys, things are gonna go wrong, but when the slide out's in, you can still enjoy this whole motor home. Freaking love that. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscast. You can get there from the link in the description below. Call 844-969-4033. Any way you guys have to reach out to our team, please do, and we will be able to get everybody the absolute best price in America. Andrea, anything you want to say? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Nexus does read the comments, and they do watch all the videos, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.